Twitch chat war dog message over. I'm going to go audio here, guys, because I'm just tracking uh, frame drop issues on OBS, which I'm not super happy about. Um, I don't know if streaming whilst it's like this is going to be a good idea. We can certainly give it a go. Ninja Bunny, welcome to the stream. I'm starting to think that this frame drop thing may just be something to do with uh, either our ISP or just in general the the internet in the area that I live in because it doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason to it, it just seems to periodically be a case of oh there's not enough internets like okay what, what does that mean? All right, um, I'm going to jump onto a live scene. Um, we're going to start this off as if this is going to be the stream, but it may not. I may have to end if these frame drops aren't going to stop, which the last time we had this issue was with Planet Zoo, and I'm pretty sure we had frame drops literally for uh, four or five hours of streaming. It was just there constantly. Um, so I'm not really sure. I don't think this is going to go away. It might do. We'll see. But if this is going to end up being the stream, welcome guys to day three of our Union campaign. Uh, we are into the 1862 Peninsula campaign. Reese Cup, welcome to the stream. Peachy's Laura, welcome to the stream. Rill's in as well. Welcome to the stream, Rob. Guys, say hello to uh, Peachy's Laura because she's new uh ninja bunny may not be new new i think they've been in before but say hi to them as well guys damien's here as well excellent it's lovely to see so many people and new faces piling in on a day when uh, the stream may not even be working properly Well, we try, we're trying to narrow, narrow it down first, Ryan. That's the thing. Yeah, I thought Ninja Bunny had been in before, but I've only seen them once or twice. Alrighty. So we are in the 1862 Peninsula campaign. We have two cores, first core under me, second core under W Brewster. Uh, we also have three divisions in our first core and two divisions in our second core. Uh, Morris is commanding one of the infantry divisions. We have the fighting first, we have the 226th infantry, also known as the Spectres of Shiloh. We have Scales, we have the 7th Volunteers, we have the 1st Infantry, who used to be the 8th Volunteers. Woods, the 106th Skirmishers, the 2nd Regiment, the Guardia de Catalunya, Excalibur, Easy Company. And then in 2nd Corps we have the 9th Militia, the 1st Iowa Militia, the 33rd Battery, the 33rd Battery Rangers, and the 1st Illinois Militia and the 115th Oregon Riders. No, I didn't massacre your boys, Rill. They got themselves massacred. It's not my fault that your boys were shit. They were your boys, why didn't you look after them? I'm going to start off just by boosting up supply. We have got some spare cash in. have more than the second core does. Alrighty. Shut the fuck up, Microsoft. Okay. It's possible that the stream is improving at the minute. We'll see. 
So if we go to the battles map, we're going to skip that because they're always the same. So there's three sub battles before we get to the climatic, climatic, climactic battle of Gaines Mill. Um, what order do they go in? So the first one is the secure river mission on the 15th of April. There are actually people living on the Falkland Islands? <laughs> Right. These drop frames are going to be a ball late, guys. But what I am going to do is we're going to try and play this secure river battle. It's highly likely that we're going to play these three and then save the climactic battle of Gaines Mill for next time because this is, I mean, it's four battles. But we'll get on with this one. We'll try and get this one out of the way. If the stream goes badly because of the quality, we'll just do Secure River and we'll do the other three next time. If it goes well, we'll probably do these two as well. So let's crack on. Peachy's Laura, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Doghouse! Exclamation mark Discord if you want an invite to my Discord. But please don't feel obligated. Ob obligated. I'm going to put First Core in here. Interestingly enough, the Confederates have 13,000 men and 22 guns, and we have 13,000 men and 24 guns. That's pretty equal. Not sure I like. <clears throat> the operations in Virginia have commenced for our army. We have to land a portion of our army onto enemy soil and start securing land for the Union. General Bragg's Corps is waiting for us on the hilltop, harassing our forces. We cannot advance if we do not repel them. With the artillery support of our ironclads, it should be fairly easy to force the Confederates away from the hilltops. But General, be very cautious in your advance. A direct frontal assault on the high ground can lead to heavy losses that we cannot afford. Okay. Sarah, welcome to the stream. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm just going to kind of... We're going to go with it from here. Uh pop a quick pause so we need to push the confederates off that hill but a direct assault is ill-advised woods easy company and scales you gentlemen okay no nope, that's gone horribly wrong that's not what we want at all move yourselves up to there stockton bring the supplies up to there I shall also come up to there. We'll put the 106th out front. And we'll move Morris to the front of the tree line to protect them. Let's go! ironclads are getting stuck into some stuff. There's Hodgson's battery. Fire! Keep moving the 106th around. 
going to bring the 1st Infantry up to the left flank here. The boats are angry! Chalmers is off on the uh, right flank there. We move the fighting first up to there. And uh, the 7th Volunteers, the Shiloh Brigade, will head over there with them. I'll also dispatch La Guardia Catalunya to that general vicinity as well. And move the 2nd Regiment round to the uh, right flank. It would appear that they are coming. I'm going to try and get the fighting first into the tree line here. We were attacking the Confederates. Oh, the 106th have been attacked by Jackson. That's not good. Keep falling back. Well, the first are giving a good account of themselves. They've driven Gladden off. Command of the 106th right now. D Love, welcome to the stream, buddy. Thank you for the look. Move back, morons. Well, oh, that's not quite what I meant. They're just getting whooped. Move the first infantry around into the trees a little bit. Keep LaGuardia Catalunya moving up. Let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, no, they're in the trees here, Ryan. Yikes. Anderson's arrived. be in either of those regiments or brigades I should say I mean the first look like they've driven Anderson off back 
that way, morons. Maguire has driven Gibson off as well. Start moving the second, the 226, and Morris forward here. that they said a full frontal assault is not advised but right now it's not exactly looking like it's being contested fighting first are really living up to their name right now infantry push up as well although pond is coming wheel wheel Exactly sensing many Confederates in these trees. Morris has found his way in. And now we look like we are capturing the hill. Gibson's making an attempt, but I don't think it's going to go very well for him. Everybody is shooting at Hodgson's cannons. The Spectres of Shiloh pushing up. Gonna keep the 106 trying to harass Hodgson. I'm gonna move the 7th Volunteers, the Shiloh Brigade, up the hill to get Robinson. We are gonna continue pushing the Confederates. start with scales first I don't want to move all of the batteries at the same time because then they'll stop firing oh, 
Shaun has come from. Colonel Derek Morris is killed. Oh no, tragic. Victory! So, we deployed 12,000 infantry, they deployed 12,000 infantry. No cavalry for us, 24 guns, 355 cavalry for them, 22 guns. We lost 1,300 men, the Confederates lost 3,604 guns. We have won a victory. Uh, most kills, La Guardia Catalunya with 698 for 329 losses. The 1st Infantry, or the 8th Volunteers as they used to be, uh, 638 kills, 312 losses. The Fighting 1st, 529 kills and 269 losses. They did exceptionally well in this battle. Uh, Excalibur, 355 kills, 42 losses. Scales, 267 kills. Woods, 175. Morris, 150 kills for 181 losses, of which Lieutenant Colonel Morris was one of them. Easy Company, 140 kills. The 7th Volunteers, or the Shiloh Brigade, 108 kills and 30 losses. The 106th Skirmishers, 100 kills for 169 losses. 226th Infantry or the Spectres of Shiloh, 65 kills, 23 losses. And the 2nd Regiment, no losses and no kills. They just went for a very long, loud walk. I see the Gorani, welcome to the stream. Sarah, thank you very much for the lurk. Guys, say hello to Asidi Gorani. Asidi Gorani is new. Officers. Lieutenant Colonel Bobby Woods promoted to full bird colonel. Lieutenant Colonel Jerome Ayers promoted to full bird colonel. Lieutenant Colonel Derek Morris killed in action. And me, Colonel Bromhead, promoted to Brigadier General. Hey! We also captured a thousand Springfield 1842s, rescued 78 Hunter rifles, and captured a 12 pounder howitzer. Not too shabby. <coughs> the Union Protector Star. That's an achievement that I don't have. What's it for? Second level Union Medal. Okay, cool. Bop on over to Korea. Um, we'll stick another point in training. We'll have that maxed out soon enough. Alright, so... Lieutenant Colonel Morris was killed. So he's going to need to be replaced. Can I swap them for... Where the fighting first are? No. But I bet I could if I moved them to second core and back again. Yep, I can. So now the fighting first are the first brigade in the first division of the first core. Huzzah for them. Uh, we're going to need a new commanding officer here. So we shall whip. Major Barry Colquitt in. He will take command there. The fighting first, Lieutenant Colonel Vernon Haney. It's going to need his troops replenished. Uh, take him back up to 1500. That's 248 veterans. Yes, That's sir. fine. 226. Why can't you replenish with veterans? That's interesting. Either way, we'll get them 21 more men. It is a very interesting game, Reese. Uh, Ryan, were you wanting a different weapon other than the Springfield 1842, or...? 
Not that we seem to have many things in the armory. There is some stuff in the shops though. Palmetto and the Lorenz. And the 1855. Uh, Springfield and Harper's Ferry actually. I'm going to bring Colquitt back up to 1500. Uh, Scales is still on £10 ordinances. Do we have the ability to give him something better? Twenty three, fifteen hundred, thirty three, thirty three. Mm. Ooh, yeah, they're slightly worse, to be fair. Twelve pounder Napoleon. Love, I'm doing all right, man. How are you doing? I don't know if I really want to swap that out yet. We do have 10 six pounder field guns in the armory, they do more damage, slightly less range, and notably less accuracy. Yes. They do do more damage. Uh, there's Lorenzes in the shop, Ryan, so we could spend money for them, but we don't have them in the enough in the armoury. What's up, Imatech? I think we're going to stick yes, with uh, the, w the guns we've got there. The, uh, the 7th Volunteers we are going to have to bring back up to 1500. Yes, sir. First infantry, also going to need to bring back up to 1500. The 106th skirmishers. Now, who was the uh, the 106th? That is Matt. So he's not here right now. So we'll just bring. I think he said. Oh, we've only got 78 hunter rifles. So that's as many as we can give him. Is 78 men. Second regiment are perfectly fine. La Guardia Catalunya. We will bring back up to 1500 men. Excalibur needs bringing back up to 1500. Oh, spot on. And second corps didn't get deployed, so. I can now bring a uh, core-wide bonus due to my promotion. I am going to bring more ammo for sure. Right, we have got some full bird kernels kicking around down here in strange places. So I may actually replace them. With some lieutenant kernels. So, first infantry can have 
Lieutenant Colonel Walton. I don't actually mind the artillery batteries having colonels, I don't think. Or I mind less the experienced ones. First Iowa militia. Swap them out. You can have Lieutenant Colonel yes, Davis. Sir. And the first Illinois can have Lieutenant Colonel Rice. Is there a way to get like non bias articles about the American Civil War? I mean, I really wonder how close this war was. Um, history is written by the victor, there's no such thing as non bias. However, there is probably some as impartial as possible material available, but I would strongly recommend reading things that are either very modern or not American in source. Or do what Ryan said and just read a whole different bunch of sources. I tend to do that, like, if you watch the same watch or read, things about the same thing you will figure out what is the common what is true because everybody reports it which again that doesn't necessarily mean it's true but it's more likely because everybody says it happened even if the sources disagree on different things Ryan telling me that his stream is still delaying quite hard Okay, um, this might, excuse me, this might get a little bit annoying. I'm going to restart the stream now between the battles just to see if that improves at all. Um, and then we'll debate whether or not we're going to do the next battle based on the performance you guys have had. But I'm going to restart it now.